Hey there, Lick and Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric finger style lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which you're going to learn a funky Spanish finger style riff. A funky Spanish finger style riff, or fusfur, for short. So it goes like this. <laughs> Got it? Simple, pretty simple. So the pattern for the first three chords is the same pattern. And what happens is that you play the bass for the chord and then you pull off the chord to the bar. Okay, so it's the fifth string and then strings two, three, and four and you pull off the chord to the bar. Okay, the fifth string and you pull off the chord on strings two, three, and four to the bar. And then you do the exact opposite. You play the bass and then you hammer the chord back on. So it's... And then you have the bass and the chord. And then you do it again. Got it? So it's bass pull off, bass hammer on and then bass chord, and then you play the bass pull off bass hammer on again. That's the pattern. That's it, that's the pattern. Same for D. Same for C. And then for B, or B7, listen to what happens if you play the same pattern. Some people wouldn't like this, this note, because it's, it creates the minor sixth. It's not pleasant for everyone's ears, okay? It's not palatable for some people. You can play it. It's actually a beautiful, beautiful um, addition. Okay? It gives you a great extra note, but you still play the same pattern. And we need to break the pattern a little bit. So what I did was this. And played slowly, it sounds like this. So you play the chord, the whole chord with the bass, and then you play the chord again without the bass, zero two on the fifth string, chord, and then again, and then the chord again. A little bit confusing, but listen to it. Okay, you play this pattern twice. You can sing it to make it a little bit more um, more organic. Okay, let's say more comfortable for your ear. Ta ta tu tu ta tu tu ta ta tu tu ta tu tu. Okay, or chord chord bass bass chord bass bass chord. Okay, and that will help you internalize this. Now, if this is too confusing for you, add that missing bass note, and then it becomes a little bit easier. Okay? At least for me, because that missing bass note is uh, somewhat of an anomaly here. So you can just complete it and have chord, chord, bass, bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, bass, bass, chord, and then you have a back and forth. On the other hand, for some people, that would be even more confusing. So it's a very individualistic feeling. So let's go over the whole riff slowly. Same. Same. And 
I slide back to E minor. So when you slow it down, it's actually a lot more confusing than when you play it in full speed. <laughs> That's, uh, that's a guitar player problem, a first world guitar player problem. Play it fast, it's so easy, play it slowly, it's so confusing. Oh me, oh my. Uh, all right, so um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, enjoy.